in this tutorial we're going to take a look at the new meta balls in Cinema 4D R17 and there's been some great improvements and we're just going to create an animation similar to this so I'm just going to start with a fresh scene uh, I'll just delete all of this and I'm going to start by creating a cloner and I'm going to create a sphere drop that inside the cloner uh, click on the cloner and go to grid array and I'm just going to reduce the Y count uh, down to 1 and I'm going to make the X and Z count 5 I'm just going to spread these out so I'm just going to make that 1200 1200 here and I'm just going to zoom out if you hit H that uh, zooms to extents okay so we have this and the way Metaballs basically works is uh, you click on here, you create the Metaball tag, and then any object you drop inside um, kind of reacts. So they basically weld together. Uh, basically with the new Metaballs you can uh, put just standard objects inside the list as well. So I'm just going to create a cube and make it 1800 by 1800 like this. And I'm just going to move it down. So in the earlier versions of Cinema 4D, you wouldn't be able to use this cube uh, alongside uh, these cloners. So I'm just going to drop the cloner into the Metaball tag, and I'm going to drop the cube in there as well. Just make sure you don't drop it inside the cloner, and it's just inside the Metaball tag. As you can see, the cloners have kind of uh, welded together. I'm just going to adjust the values, so I'm just going to click on Metaball, and I'm just going to reduce the hull value, or increase it, the percentage of it and that's good about here and as you can see the cubes disappeared so what we're going to do is we're going to click on the cube go to tags cinema 4d tags and choose meta ball and we have these new options now so type i'm going to set to line nothing happens i'm going to set to triangle and as you can see now uh, the cube is reacting with the cloner objects as well so I'm just going to go to the Metaball object here and just reduce the editor subdivision just to get a kind of cleaner look, uh, 15 maybe, uh, as long as it's not affecting performance. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to click on Cloner, go to MoGraph Effector and add a Formula Effector. So we get this kind of pretty bizarre effect here. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm just gonna make scale uh, 0.5 and I'm gonna click on effector and just reduce the strength so it's not so extreme. So I'm just gonna play this back and that's looking like the animation uh, I showed you at the beginning of this tutorial. It's pretty cool. And I'm just gonna go back to this tag, Metaballs tag on the cube and choose line. And as you can see, uh, we can, um, choose a line mode as well, which is kind of crazy. Um, I'm just going to drop this down maybe here. So the line's kind of running through these cloners and I'm just going to play back this animation and it's a pretty cool effect. But um, if you choose triangle, it's just a solid object. Uh, so that's the end of this tutorial. Uh, please share this. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask below. And thanks for watching.